Welcome to video 96 in series 3 and in this video I'll make the HitFX particle systems. Okay, so make a brand new particle system and just have it outside somewhere, not attached to anything. And I'll actually, why not just reset its position and bring it up forward. I do want it uh, facing upwards so the rotation is correct. That's the kind of rotation that I want. I'll change the duration to be longer, like 7. I'll turn off looping. I'll just simulate it when I need to. And uh, for the speed, I'll set that to 7 to start with. Uh, the size, probably much smaller, maybe like 0.1. I do want it affected by gravity, uh, so I'll put that modifier to 1. Also the rotation, I'll give it some random rotation. So between two values, like 0 to 360. And then I'll change the emission. It won't be a rate, it'll be a burst. So I'll just set that to zero. I'll just ignore the red down there. That's just a unity thing. Sometimes comes up with that about the profiler. Doesn't mean anything though. Uh, okay, so then there we go. That's the burst, 10 by 10. So let's just simulate. Okay, that's good. You can see, if I get a little bit closer, you can see the a gravity effect. I'll change the uh, shape as well. So I'll make it a sphere, change the radius to 0.1. I will make it emit from shell, so from the shell of the sphere, and yes, any random direction. Okay, I want it to collide with the world, so turn on collision, expand that out, not planes, to world, so this is a bit more expensive, but it looks much better, but not collide with everything, so I'll just set it to nothing. Then just to default, I don't want it colliding with the player or the enemies, it's not necessary. Okay, and then as for the uh, collision itself, I also need to change the dampen value. And I'll put that at like 0.7. What this does is the particle will lose energy. So if I just simulate that, yeah, you can see how it just sort of bounces momentarily and then just comes to a stop. So that's what I want. And I'll just set the collision quality down as well. There's no reason for it to be high quality. It's not that important. Coming to the renderer, I want to change it to mesh. I want it to be a cube, and I will need to change the material. Uh, so I'll just pick something. Uh, I guess I can just use the wall. It's a good enough example. Okay. All right, and let me just raise it up a bit. Okay, so you can imagine it you shot a wall, then all these pieces would fly all over the place. And I could turn off the shadows. It's up to you. Maybe I will turn off shadows. It doesn't look as good. It just looks like a bunch of blocks now flying. But yeah, you've got to think about that if you really need the shadows or not. And I'll leave, of course, the no reflection probes. I, I will add a, uh, a script that's already made by Unity. It's a particle system destroyer. And I'll just set the minimum duration to 7, and leave the max at 10. So this will just delete the particle system uh, when it's finished playing. And I'll call this the default hit effect. It's not finished yet. I need to add some sparks to it. But just before I do that, I'll duplicate this. And I'll call this one the duplicated one, enemy hit effect. I'll make a new material, and I'll call it red, just pick a red color, turn off any uh, shininess, then come back, well I can just assign it immediately, and that should be it, let me just double check, yep, the red material got assigned, simulate, good. Okay, so I'll make a prefab out of this. It's set up correctly. It's on play on awake. That's important. And it's not looping. That's important as well. So go to the prefabs and create a new folder. Just call it hit effects. Okay, and then I'll drag in the enemy hit effect and also the default hit effect. I'll delete the enemy one and I've got to attach another particle system to the default one. Okay, so I'll call this one Sparks. 
turn off looping, and just put it at, yep, leave it at 5. I think I'll change the lifespan to 0.5, the start speed to 30, and the start size like 0.2. Again, this will be affected. Will it be affected by gravity? No, I shouldn't have it affected by gravity. I want the sparks to look really energetic. Then in emission, again, it's not a rate, so set that to zero. Burst, 15 minimum, 15 maximum, so it's always 15. Shape, change it to sphere as well, radius 0.1. Yes, emit from shell and random direction. I want the size of these uh, sparks to reduce with life, so select size over lifetime. And select a curve that uh, causes the particle size to decrease, so something like this. Okay, and now collision. Again, set that to world, and it doesn't have to be everything. So set it to nothing, and it's put on default. I'll put that to medium quality. I'll also dampen the energy there as well. Just put that to 0.7. Now for the renderer, I'll make it a stretched billboard so the particles look stretched and long. I'll make the speed scale like 0.05. Get rid of the length scale because it's very fast, so that's why I don't need a large speed scale. And I'll turn off the shadows. Okay, so let's have a look at that. Let's hit apply on this prefab. Simulate. Perfect. Again. That's it. And if it were closer to a wall, you'd see it uh, bounce off the wall, the sparks. So let me just move that somewhere better so I can actually see it happening. Perfect. Okay, so that's it for the uh, default hit effect. And we did the enemy hit effect as well. I'll just make sure to uh, save that. Just make sure it's all set up correctly. Yep, plan awake. Good, 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 good. All right, I'll hit apply. And that's it, and I can delete it. Okay, so I think that's it. We've uh, done all the stuff we need to for making assets for the gun. I think from the next video onwards, we'll actually be writing some scripts. Okay, so thanks for watching, and see you then.